Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lily. If you're new here, please subscribe. Um, today I'm doing a everyday glam, like a look when you want to do the most. But I'm using all affordable products for this, so I'm super excited. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do some get to know me tag questions. So we can, my channel's still new and stuff, so we can get to know me a little bit more on this channel. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to see how I did this and how I got my doing the most everyday glam, keep watching. Let's get into it. All right, so clearly I did my eyebrows off camera. I'm gonna carve them out now, but that's why I look more crazy. Also, my rosacea is acting up so bad today, so I apologize for that, but I'm just gonna roll with the punches, I guess. All right, so, oh, shh. Forgot to wet my sponge, I'll be right back. Mission accomplished. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to do my well, not even my everyday makeup. I just want to do like a everyday glam that people can do all the time. But I'm using all affordable products. I was thinking of doing something a little bit different today. I want to do, I think like a light eyeshadow and lashes, which I usually don't do. I'm usually, I love eyeshadow. It's probably my favorite part of doing my makeup. So I like to do eyeshadow and then just like a quick mascara, like a light eyeshadow. And, ugh, <laughs> like eyeshadow and mascara rather than lashes but I'm filming a few videos today so why not you know living my best life whatever but also while I'm doing this I'm going to do get to know me questions because this channel is still pretty new and I imagine people don't know much about me if this is your first video then you know nothing so let's get going the first thing I'm going to do is cover up my brows with this nice little flat brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection and Juvia's Place Concealer. All right, so the first question is where did you grow up? I grew up in Connecticut. I lived there my whole life. I went to college there the whole nine. Yeah, it was an awesome place to grow up, but a little bit boring when you get older. <laughs> but no, I love Connecticut. It's just expensive for young people and it's a small state, so you know. But a great place to like raise your kids and have a family, so who knows where I'll end up. Um, where do I currently live? I currently live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Just moved here about two months ago. I'm really loving it, there's so much to do. It's just a fun, hip, young place to be. Um, how tall are you? I am quite tall, I am 5'10". Five, nine and three quarters. <laughs> yes. I know a lot of tall people are like, oh, I used to hate it, now I love it. I still am not a fan. I'm sure one day I will grow to like it, but right now it's just a struggle. Like I can't find clothes that fit. I can't find, um, I don't wanna wear heels and be like towering over people and people are like, why is this Amazonian woman coming at me? But. I shouldn't be saying this. Embrace your tallness. If you can rock it, I'm all for it. Like Taylor Swift does her thing. Tall as can be. Models, Kendall Jenner, the whole thing. But me, I don't have that much confidence yet. I'm working on it. One day, you'll see me in heels. Louboutins, killing the game. <laughs> um, dogs or cats? Dogs, all the way. I want one so bad, but we're trying to wait till after Christmas just because we're gonna do traveling home quite a bit for Thanksgiving and Christmas time. And it's just gonna be a whole thing if we have a puppy, bringing it home and training it, you know. So we're just gonna try to wait till the new year and then we'll have a puppy. Can't wait. Um, what year were you born? 1996, November 6, 1996. My birthday is like a week and a half, two weeks, two weeks away. And I'm going to be 23. That's so old. Shocking, really. Yeah, so I'm about to be a grandmother. All right, now that I just took 50,000 years to carve out my eyebrows and I still look crazy, <laughs> I'm gonna move on to primer. So the primer I'm using is this CoverGirl True Blend Base Business <laughs> Skin Primer, the pore minimizing one, which is actually quite good if you have oily skin like I do. Which I don't find. I know I've said this in 
past videos, but I find most YouTubers have dry skin. So I'm here for you oilier people. Yeah, I have normal to oily skin, I'd say. But my nose does get very oily throughout the day. All right. You didn't think my skin could get any redder. <laughs> Um, are you in or have you gone to college? I graduated college last year with a PR and marketing degree. So yeah, done with that. Check bachelor's off. I want to go to grad school, but it's quite the commitment and it's expensive and it's school. So not that I don't like school. It's just thinking about going to class. I'm like, oh my God, horrible, truly. Um... What is your favorite drink? I can't say not an iced coffee, but I'm also like a slut for apple cider. Mmm. And it, oh, gotta go. And if you're talking about alcoholic drink, I'm a vodka soda extra lime kind of gal. Oh, for foundation, I am using the Maybelline 24 hour, whatever, super stay 24 hour in the shade. 128 warm nude. I just did my tan today, like just now. So if it looks a little crazy, I apologize. You know how it's so streaky when you first put it on and then you wash it off and you're like, oh, why am I pale again? That's what I hate about self-tanner. It just, like you can be so dark and you're like, oh girl, I'm gonna be bronze killing it, the whole thing. And then you wash it off and you're like, hi, why do I look like Casper now? hate that. I just hate it. The next question is, what is your spirit animal and why? I don't know. I don't have a spirit animal. I feel like that's very 2010, 2012. I don't know. And I heard that's offensive. I don't know whether it is or not, but you know, I don't have one. So I'm just going to skip that. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Ugh, I don't know what it's called. It's YSL comes in a pink bottle with a black ribbon on it. It smells so good. If anyone knows the name, please leave it down below. I just ran out of my bottle and I need another one because it is crack. It smells so good. I mean, neck? Who is she? Not good. Next question, tea or coffee? I would say coffee, oh my God, I lied about my favorite drink. My favorite drink is a venti iced chai from Starbucks. And I include the venti because it has to be big. That is my favorite drink. But while we're on the topic, normally, like I like tea, whatever, but I also love coffee. Like in the morning, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee unless I'm at Starbucks and I'm gonna get a chai. But yeah. So I guess coffee, I guess it could go either way. It has never taken me longer than it is right now, but my skin looks pretty good. This is a good foundation if you're looking for something drugstore. Sorry, my mirror is like reflecting weird light on me. But if you need a drugstore foundation, I highly recommend that one. It's bomb. What are your life goals? My life goals are to miserable. I know that sounds like kind of bad, but I just feel like so many people are like moving in slow motion. Like just every day is the same thing and they don't enjoy their life. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, I'm going to have a fun weekend. You're always waiting for the weekend. You're always like, I don't know. Isn't there more? I don't want that. I want to be happy in my life. But beyond that, I want to have kids. I want to hopefully find success in this business, in this industry, and move on into like more of a business standpoint, hopefully one day. Just be like a girl boss, you know? But I do really want a family. That's very important to me as well. So currently, those are my life goals. Oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer again, which is actually so good. And it has like, you know, that shape tape wand, the fat one, highly recommend. 
Um, what sports do you play or have you played? I am not a sports gal. I don't mind watching sports, but I do not play sports. Um, I played soccer when I was little and I got hit in the face with the ball, got a bloody nose, and that was the end of that. But I did dance pretty much my whole life. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff. LA, jazz, contemporary, the whole nine. So that's what my hobby was growing up. Um, have any books you read changed your life? There was this book I read, I'm pretty sure I was in fifth grade, that I will never forget. This book did like literally change me. I was obsessed with it and I read it for a book project and it was called The Corner of the Universe. A Corner of the Universe, one of the two. And it was a really touching book and I should read that again because it hit different in fifth grade and probably still will. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quickly move into powder because my face is gonna crease. But um, I'm using the Fit Me powder in Fair. There's like nothing left in here. Let's see what I can do. Ay 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 ay. Oh, here we go. I keep seeing this article going around that's like, I think it was from Elle, the magazine, talking to Rihanna's makeup artist saying that she says not to bake because it dries out your face, but like, I have oily skin. I want to dry out my face. That's kind of the point of putting on powder. But I guess if you do have dry skin, it's not always the best thing. Potato, potato, right? I also saw, I don't know if anyone watched Kylie's makeup tutorial that she just put out. She did, oh, I don't have like a little brush with me, I don't think. It's clean. Yeah, so she did a like bit, little bit of translucent powder and a line down her nose to bake. And I'm gonna try it. I'm making quite a mess, I can see it. So, let's see how that comes out. Sorry, I put so much powder on. If I'm gonna make my makeup look better for one, and for two, oh my god, that was so much. I apologize for that. And for two, I'm not taking any flash photography today, and it helps my makeup stay in place. Otherwise, I just look not cute. Now that I look like a certified ghost, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Powder away is always just quite the mess. Oh my god. This is a good powder. I use the Laura Mercier normally, which I love, but this is a very good powder for drugstore. Um, next. What is my favorite movie? Um, I don't really have a favorite movie. I like a lot of different things. But yeah, I've never really had a favorite movie. So, can't help ya. Um, who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I love Shani Grimmond. I love Molly Bailey. I love... Yeah, those are pretty much my two favorite YouTubers. <laughs> Good talk. But no, I love... Oh, and uh, Claudia Regensperger. She's my third. <laughs> but no, I love... Um, I love watching all different channels, but like those are my two go-tos. Watch every video they put out kind of thing. Um, next, do you speak any languages and how well? Unfortunately, no. I took Spanish for like six years in high school and middle school and high school. And I can like understand some things and like speak very broken, but not really. And I speak very minimal Italian. So no, I speak English and that's it. And it's sad and horrible and I should not be this way, but unfortunately I am. Because when you're 15, you think nothing matters, but it does. So if you're in Spanish class right now or French or German or whatever the heck you're taking in high school, stick with it. That's what I have to say. Stick with it. 
Are you single or taken? I am taken. I have a boyfriend named David. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm sure you've seen him. A delight. Um, what is your idea of a dream date? Well, if we're saying like a dream date, I would say like a trip. I love to travel. So something like really cool would to be like those people that are able to be like, let's go just catch the next flight and that's our date night. Like that'd be so fun or like a weekend getaway. Dream date, that's all I have to say. Um, how long was your longest relationship? Um, like now, I mean the relationship, my last, my only other serious relationship, oh sorry, was about a year and a half and I've been with David for about a year and a half, but we're gonna continue on. So this will be my longest relationship. Okay, I need to keep doing my makeup. I totally lost focus. All right, so while the bake is going, I'm going to use this. Hanging in Hawaii from Beach Cosmetics. Very pretty. And since I'm gonna not really do much because I wanna put on lashes, I'm just gonna take, I think, the color coconut into my crease. The fluffy brush. This palette is so pigmented. I think it was like, I don't even know. It was cheap from Ulta. And if you're looking for a good, like everyday eyeshadow palette for on the affordable side, I highly, highly recommend this. Well, that was a little heavier than I wanted to go, but what can you do, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to take the color Shaka and put that on my lid. Yeah, just something matte brown is what I'm going for. I've been really liking the look of that lately. Like, just matte and natural, like cute. Well, not natural, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and take a tiny bit more coconut and just pat that on the outer corner. And then take a tiny bit to my lower lash liner. Just on the same brush, like continuing it. Just a tiny bit of like leftover shot. And then I am going to take with my ring finger the color Hula and put it on my inner corner for a pop. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you didn't talk as much as I do, you'd be able to finish this in five minutes. But here we are. Okay, so, um, oh, what is your go-to hairstyle? My go-to hairstyle is curls down, loose curls down. Right now my hair is straight because I was feeling lazy. But, yeah, I'm a curls gal. Um, how many siblings do you have? Two. I have an older sister and a younger brother. I am the middle child. Tragic, really. Next, I'm going to use the ColourPop eyeliner and do a small wing. Like, really small. Just basically just lining. Well, that's a classic tale of me wanting to put on nothing and putting on way more. So, now I have to match this one. It's a true struggle. It's good enough. It is what it is. Um, do you use PC or Mac? I have a Mac, which... I think it's kind of dying. No, it's okay, but it struggles sometimes. I've had it since my freshman year of college. So, she's okay though. She's chugging along. Wow, this eyeliner looks very bad, but. <laughs> um, what is your most memorable vacation memory? Um, probably I studied abroad in Florence and there's like a lot of moments that I was like, oh my God, we went to Switzerland and we were in Interlaken at the Alps, just looking out. I had never seen anything like that in my life ever. And it was just shocking. So that was a cool moment just to be like, oh my God, like this is real and I'm standing here. Like, cool. I loved that. Um... Next question is, what are your morning, evening routines? That would literally take me a whole week to explain. It's not like a 
one question kind of thing. I tell you. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off my bake now. Cute, cute. And continue on with my face makeup. Um, for bronzer, I'm using this Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, which has seen its day. Um, do you have any bad habits? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like everyone has bad habits. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't, well, I'm trying to change, but I have, don't always eat as well as I should. I don't, I don't know, do the things. I don't know, I can be lazy, like, as much as the next girl, like, rather sit in bed and watch Netflix than like go for a run, but I'm trying to change that. I am in the process of. What is your favorite Netflix show? I just finished, this is my favorite, but I just finished watching Rhythm and Flow, which is like the rap talent competition that Chance, Cardi, and T.I. did, and it was really good. I recommend if you're like into hip hop music, which I'm not even that into hip hop music. I just liked it. It was interesting. So yeah, um, that was a good show. These questions are very bad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, well for blush, I'm using Milani Luminoso because I'm stuck in 2008. I was like throw out numbers like that and they're probably not even close to the correct year, but like you just, you get what I'm trying to say, you know? And I don't have a highlighter that's drugstore. I know that the Wet Mild ones are good and the Maybelline ones are good, but I don't have one. So I'm using this Kylie Cosmetics one in the shade Champagne Showers. All right. And then before I finish my rest of my eye makeup, JK, never mind. Never mind times two. I'm using the Morphe Setting Spray. I probably just shouldn't have done that because I just put my tan on. <laughs> okay. Um, how many countries have you traveled to? I think like 14. I've been here, Canada, Aruba, the Bahamas, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's kind of similar, but um, then I've been to Italy, Switzerland, Croatia, France, Spain, Austria, Hungary, Germany, and the Netherlands, and Belgium. So that's 14. I think that is correct. I don't think I'm missing anything. No, I don't think so. So that's all the countries I've been to. The next thing I wanna tackle is Asia. I love to go to Japan, I wanna go to Thailand, Vietnam. I love to go all over the place. So that's what I wanna do next. Um, who's your celebrity crush? Michael B. Jordan or Harry Styles after that whole like 13 to 16 year old thing like mm, can't get over it um <laughs> do I have any pets I do have pets back at home I have two dogs Oop. a Boston Terrier and a mutt a little black puppy looking adorable cute dog um do I have any weird quirks Yes, this thing I do, my brother, when I was little, used to like want to punch me in the face when I did this, but I will click my nail beds like that. It's just this thing I do. And I crack like everything. I'll crack my hips, my boyfriend and Claudia, like, ooh, they hate it. They're like, you're gonna pop a bone out, but I don't know. I always did it in dance class and just kept on doing it. Yeah, I crack my neck, my back, my wrists, my ankles, my knees crack all the time without even trying. So that's kind of gross, but. Um, what's my favorite color? I'd say pink. I'm that kind of gal. So now I'm gonna do mascara. I'm using this Rocket Volume from Maybelline. I used to love this mascara, like in high school. 
I just recently bought it again and it kind of hurts. The brush is so sharp. Like when I try to get close to the root of my lash, it hurts. So I don't like that, but what can you do, right? Oh my God, I have such eye boogers right now. Not cute. What social media am I addicted to? Um, I hate to admit this, but I just downloaded TikTok the other week, like to be like, mm -hmm, you know, funny. And now I'm watching it all the time and it's getting to be kind of sick. So that's an issue I need to combat. That's another bad habit. It's not cute. So here we are. Um, I'm using these Eyelore Silk Effect. I don't know. These are the lashes. I've used them. They're falling off. So I'm just going to put them on. And then do my lips. And we're done after 20,000 years. So I just pop my lashes on. I think my eyes look droopy. But oh well. And um, now I am going to do my last question and my lips. So for lips, I'm using this NYX lip liner. Um, the color is Peekaboo Neutral. And the last question is, what are you happiest with in your life right now? And I'm happy with most things in my life. I try not to do things that make me like super unhappy, whether that be a job or a relationship or whatever. So yeah, but right now, I'm really happy that I'm actually doing YouTube. I wanted to do it for as long as I can remember and I've tried and quit and was embarrassed and didn't want to do it and yada 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 but now I'm finally doing it. I'm really happy about it and yeah hopefully I can continue on this journey and someone will want to join me. Alright and the last step of this makeup routine today is baddest beige I think this is Maybelline I think it is Maybelline baddest beige lipstick I'm just gonna pat in the middle of my lips and that's it my finished look thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you learned a little bit about me um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this at all. Comment down below if you want to see something next and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that I should keep giving this a shot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.